to buy YouTube views or to not buy YouTube views? That is the question. Ross Erosion here, founder and CEO of Tricycle Creative. And if you're a creative out there looking for digital marketing and business growth videos, consider subscribing to our channel. So you're here because you were curious about whether or not you should buy YouTube views for your channel. Well, let's cut right to the chase. The answer is... No. All right, see you next time. Oh, you're still here. Well, that's reassuring. What that means is you actually want to be a better marketer and you want to understand why you shouldn't be buying YouTube views. Well, that's fantastic. You've come to the right place and the right video. Let's talk about why someone buys YouTube views. There's really two reasons. The first one is uh, vanity. Massive egos pumped up by massive numbers, even if those numbers are undeserved. The second reason why someone would buy YouTube views is because they want to get to monetization faster. Now, I can totally understand this, but when we're talking about monetization on YouTube, there is something you need to know. YouTube unlocks, allows you to do monetization after you've achieved two things in a 12 month period. 1,000 subscribers for your channel and 4,000 watch hours. Now you may be saying, well that's only two things that are required. Yes, only two things, but they are brilliant. They are very thoughtful and very strategic as to why they picked those two things. 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So keep those two things in mind as we look at a video I bought views for and a video that acquired views organically. Let's go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a look at the video that I bought the views for and a video which has grown organically. So that means I didn't buy any views for it. It has just naturally, organically gained its viewership. And I think this is gonna really illuminate the difference between and the quality between a paid view and a non-paid view. Now we're gonna do this by looking at three main things. Views itself, right? Kind of the quality of the views. Watch time and subscribers gained. Now, when the reason we're looking at these is because, okay, we can look at the views just as a, um, a, a metric itself. But remember, for monetization, views don't actually mean anything. That's the brilliance of YouTube. It's watch time that means something. And we're gonna talk about the subtle difference between those two. Now. I would hope that by the end of this video, you're not going to want to buy views, but if you do, or at least I should tell you, I used a service called Storm Views. Full disclosure, they seem a little sketchy. I think they're Russian. That in itself does not make them sketchy, but the payment method was a little odd. I'm checking my credit card statements for any sort of weird uh, uh, transactions, you know, ever since then. But let's look at this. So this is the video that I paid for views for. Now I paid for 500 views for this. Now this is the, uh, a video I'm actually really proud of, but I had to pick one to run this test. So it's a simple sales process to boost conversion rate. It's a whole breakdown of my sales process. Now let's look at this views tab. Look at this. Now what we're looking at here is a timeline from day zero. So the day it was uh, uh, published to essentially today. Now, you'll notice this giant spike, and then it flattens, it plateaus again. This giant spike, you guessed it, is from that seven to 10 days when I bought the views. Now, 
I had a huge jump up. You may be saying, wow, that's fantastic. But then like it just flattens off again, right? So when we're talking about the quality and what this does long-term, the, the return on investment, okay, great. I gained 500 views, but then nothing happened. It just flattened out again. Now, let's compare that with a video that I've received views for organically. This one. So this is a review I did of a platform called Squadcast for podcasters. Um, look at this. Look how different that is from this. This is paid. This is organic. And you notice the steady incremental increase in views over time. This is very important for you to understand because what's happening with this video, it is continuously growing and gaining views. The one I paid for, one time. And then, nothing. So the second metric as we look at paid versus organically attained views is watch time. And remember what I said, YouTube, to unlock your channel for monetization, it's not views. It is watch time hours. That's what matters. So when we look at this video, we have, it has 932 views currently. And we look at the same type of little timeline here that uh, around the same time, it had this big spike in watch time, okay? But let's scroll down a little bit and dig a little deeper into the data. Average view watch time, 18 seconds. That means on average, people are coming to this video, watching it for 18 seconds, and then leaving. And since a majority of these 932, or at least half, were paid for, that means that just doesn't add up to much total watch time. And we're gonna dive into this a little bit more a little later in the video. You can check out the chapters along the bottom if you wanna skip ahead. But now again, let's compare this to a video organically, which has attained views organically. Now keep in mind, this video has 932 views, okay? This is the one I paid. Now this one or that is organic, 743, but look at this, holy hell. 66 hours of watch time. And it has like, you know, almost 300 less views. Four hours versus 66 hours. I mean, if the, this is the most important takeaway for you if you're thinking about buying views. They are not high quality. Look at this, average view duration, almost five and a half minutes versus 18 seconds. If you are looking to buy views to unlock monetization, you are just flushing money down the toilet. Now the last metric I want us to look at as it relates to a paid versus an organic video is the, the number of subscribers gained from that video. If you're a creator, you know that when you create videos, ideally if someone watches a video and they're like, wow, that was super helpful. I want to subscribe to that channel to get more of that, right? That's, that's the end game and those all cumulatively pile up till you get to a thousand more million subscribers, whatever it is. Well, look at this paid video. We've received one subscriber from it, okay? Now, flipping over to our organic friend, this video has yielded nine subscribers from this video. So, and you look at the stair step here over time, boop, 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 boop. It's, it's rapidly increasing. So, this is a metric of creating content that connects with the audience that's watching it. When you pay for views, you are it is transactional. 
you're not actually putting this video in front of people who candidly give a shit about the video. They're just watching it for this 18 seconds to get it to count as a view, and then they're on to the next thing. When you create videos and you have organic growth, you are resonating, you are connecting with your audience in a meaningful way. So let's talk about this buying YouTube views as the shortcut, right? Because that's what it is. You're looking to fast track your way to monetization. You're uh, like Veruca Salt, right? In Willy Wonka's uh, factory. Name your price. She can't have one. Who says I can't? But this is why this data is important. Let's say you similarly purchase a view and it averages 17 seconds. And as we discussed before, you need 4,000 hours of watch time, which is 14,400,000 seconds. So if each purchased view is 17 seconds and I need 14,400,000 seconds, that means you would need to purchase 847,059 views. Now on storm views, their packages go up to 500,000. Uh, you can contact them for a custom, but the 500,000 package costs a cool $3,000. So let's assume that if you need just shy of 900,000 views, that it'll cost you around $6,000. Do you have $6,000 for this? So what's the takeaway here? I'm a creative business owner. I have this YouTube channel. I work with other creative business owners and creators. And it is always a balance of time versus money. So I asked if you have $6,000 to invest in this. I would propose an alternative. Keep that $6,000. Pay yourself. Give yourself a nice bonus and instead invest the time of making quality videos that connect to your audience. Now, if you figure, all right, it'll take you about six hours to make a video, and let's say your time is worth 20 bucks an hour, you can churn out around 50 videos for that cool $6,000 that you were gonna pay for, right? And I guarantee, those 50 videos that you make, the learnings that you get from them, the skills you develop from making them, they are going to do so much better than if you just try to pump $6,000 into buying views. Is it gonna take a little while? Yes, yes. This type of work takes time. Building an audience takes time. Now, many YouTube creators, they subscribe to the idea of the 100 video rule. What's that? The 100 video rule says, you need to create 100 videos before you can even start to understand what your audience likes, who they are, what moves the needle. And if you're sitting there thinking, 100 videos, that's a lot. This might not be for you. And that's okay. And when you are a small business owner, when you are a small creator, and you're working so hard to build this audience, I would hate for you, if you had $6,000 to spend it on these worthless views, when instead you could invest your time and build a really meaningful, impactful, loyal, interested audience on YouTube. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you now understand why you should not be buying YouTube views. And I encourage you that if you found this video helpful, if you liked it, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to our channel. And until next time, I encourage you to keep pedaling.